What's up, CC babies? Today I'm back with another video, and I know y'all um read that title. So today is the Q and A. So yes, let's get right on into it. Originally, I had um, put on my Instagram to um, get you guys to inbox me some questions. So, some of you guys did participate. So, thank you for the love. And yes, I'm gonna um, take about nine or ten of those questions and answer them for y'all. So, let's see. We're gonna choose the first one. Let's see. What are some things you plan on doing after Corona? Okay. Well, yes, Corona's still out here. Like, I don't know why a lot of people feel that it is gone, but baby, Corona is still out here, y'all. So please be safe. Um, wear your mask. Wash your hands. I can't stress that enough. So yes, um, some things that I would do when corona is over is for one you know your girl love a good vacation so i'm going on vacation that's for sure and then let's see i i think that's probably the top thing i'm booking a flight and i'm going on vacation because um the top trips that i want to go on that got delayed because of covid I want to take a trip to New York City. Um, I wouldn't mind going to Dominic Dominican Republic. And it was some other places. I don't mind. I want to go to Egypt one day. I want to visit the pyramids. And yeah, so your girl is booking flights. Flights after flights after Corona. So we need Corona to get the boot. <laughs> as us Louisiana people like to say you getting a boot honey so yes as soon as that is away we're booking flights and I'm taking you guys with me of course and y'all I'm rocking my fro yes black power yes so cute I'm feeling it I'm feeling it you guys okay question two are you single? <laughs> just depends who was asking. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Um, well, if you watch my channel, you guys have seen Nario. So, no, I am not single. Um, but, yes. No. And your girl is sipping on her lemon water with her Go Pink 5K cup. So yes, because it's Breast Cancer Awareness, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So yeah. Let's go to the next question. Would you ever move? That is a good question. Um, yes, eventually I want to get out of Louisiana. Um, I'm currently in central Louisiana and it's, I love home. Do not get me wrong. I love home. It is no place like home. You guys know that. Um, but I do, if I'm young, I want to venture out. I want to be able to maybe try a big city because here in Louisiana is country um small towns and yes I want to be able to move to um grow um yes so one day I do plan on moving where to I haven't decided yet I just know I want to be in a city um it's just Louisiana is more like a retirement state. Once you have retired 
and up in age and you want to come back home that's what louisiana for it's not for young people young excuse me entrepreneurs it's just so hard to to get up in louisiana so yes i i wouldn't mind moving maybe to houston um or dallas even um la like i'm open i'm open so um if y'all have any good suggestions for somewhere to move drop them down below yes get in that comment section you guys so yes one day i will um venture out <laughs> um so hopefully that'll be soon i can venture out soon so next question what inspired you to start your youtube any advice for new youtubers yes um i watch youtube you guys all the time i have my own um big time youtubers that i love to watch and they inspired me um to do youtube and plus i seen the bag in it let's be real i seen the bag in it and i was like this is a good opportunity and yes i just like to have fun try new things um and bring people with me and so that was it was really a good opportunity all the way around um and like i said i I'm, i love trying new things and so at the time youtube was it so that's what made me really just start youtube i forgot to answer the second part of the question about um youtube um the question said um any advice for new youtubers my advice for you new youtubers or anybody out there that's motivated and want to be a youtuber like myself my advice is be consistent um don't let nobody tell you that you can't do it don't um let it some people say i don't know what my first video um should be i was stuck there don't let that discourage you and make you not want to do it um um don't let you might start off with no subscribers at first or no likes it gradually comes don't let that um discourage you either from doing it and yes have fun with it have fun with it and be consistent so um that's my advice for any new youtubers and just do it just start your account and do it because that's what i had to do i kept saying i want to you i want to be a youtuber i want to do it but i what i never just sat down and made the youtube account so now that I have sat down and made my YouTube account and actually started my channel, it's so much easier for me to just pick up my phone or whatever and vlog and just drop content. Yes, it's going to be days where you're like, oh my goodness, this is more than what I thought it was going to be. But hey, it's YouTube. My channel is my my baby now it's a passion and yes so be consistent just make the youtube channel just do it so those are my two um biggest things and advice that i will give to anybody that's looking into wanting to start a youtube channel fun with it and i love to see the that the love that i'm getting from you guys and so Yes, and that just keeps me moving. When I see y'all like, commenting, and sharing, and um, just positive, giving me positive feedback. And I love when you guys hit me up and be like, uh, Sierra, we haven't got a video this week. What is going on? I love when you guys do that. So, yes, stay on me because I am working on being more consistent with my uploads and yes i want to give y'all the content that y'all want to see that's going to keep y'all watching and so yes i want to be able to do that for you guys so 
and y'all motivate me so y'all just keep that up and we're gonna keep dropping and i promise i promise i'm gonna get more consistent with bringing y'all bangers yes because i know that's what y'all want to see so yeah we're gonna I'm, I'm working on it y'all working on it just keep in mind that your girl is in school she worked two jobs and she owns a boot you co-owner of a boutique styles plus boutique so check me out if you haven't already done so www.stylesplus.com.co so i will put it in the description box below we offer um from small to 3x in clothing for all shapes and sizes so yes as you can see i am a plus size girl so i love to shop and i love to feel confident and yes, so we're going to save that conversation for another video about being plus size and confident. So stay tuned. Next one. 90s or 2000s in music. Okay, that's very interesting. Um, well, I'm a 90s baby. That's very hard. I'm a 90s baby, and of course, the music in the 90s was hot and fire, but 2000s, you guys, I can actually say that that was my time growing up and witnessing the 2000s music, so I would say 2000s. I could give y'all all type of albums and tracks that just, yes, fire and still hitting today when i say i still love my two early 2000s music um yeah i'll i'll, I'll say 2000s early 2000s was popping big in the day with the music um next question what's an important quality in a man Ooh all of them <laughs> what you mean all of them <laughs> um i don't know this this is a hard one for me too because it's three three top qualities in a man that i would say if you ain't got it you got to go you got to to the left to the left like beyonce said or you got to <laughs> Ariana Grande next because we ain't playing no games since 2020. We finna be in 2021. We us young females that's doing doing the thing. We ain't got time. We ain't got time to be playing with no men. So I would say honesty for one. You gotta have honesty. Communication, y'all. That's my biggest pet peeve. Like you have to be commute. We gotta communicate tell me what's going on i don't want to be out here in the blind spot looking crazy like communication is key you guys and then loyalty like baby if you're not loyal what are we in this for like <laughs> come on like so i would say all three of those is big 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 major uh qualities in a man that i'm looking for and if you ain't got them you got to go you got to go baby because what they say is plenty of fish in the sea okay all right let's see next question what is your favorite zodiac today you guys well let me be honest with you i was never real big in zodiac y'all for real like when i was in school i used to when people would be like let me um read they'll come with these cards and tell me let me read your zodiac and tell you i'd be like baby is you on some type of voodoo stuff <laughs> not no shade or nothing against the people that's in that but they used to scare me. I ain't know nothing about no Zodiac and they reading about you and stuff. I ain't know nothing about that stuff. I was scared. I'm just not kind of getting into it. So, 
I don't know. I don't know. Nario is a baby. What is he? He he's born in September. What is that? A Virgo? I think. I think so. <laughs> um, but I I I read up on me and I'm a Aquarius, you guys. My birthday is February 8th. I'm a Aquarius and I believe Nario is a Virgo. And we can Virgos and Aquarius can either be compatible or they can not be compatible so we should see because y'all he drives me crazy i'm not gonna lie sometimes he drives me freaking nuts and i want to just y'all y'all know y'all understand so i really i'm starting to really get into um, zodiac signs and i really do believe that it, it um but yeah if everything i read up on a virgo is true about nereo like i think it said they don't like to they're not clingy which is true he he likes his own space you know every now and then he'll get a little clingy to me but he he likes to be able to miss me. Virgos want to be able to miss you. You have to give them time to miss you. But if you just are controllingly on them all the time, they do not like that. They can't stand it. And that's so true about Nereo. He he will get times where if he ain't been around me or seen me for a few days or a few hours, he will start to miss me. But I have to give him that time to do it. But just being on top of him, can't stand it. So that is very true. And what else? It was a lot, but everything about Virgos is true. They have strong personalities. They love to have boss women. Um, they like to see you on your shit. Um, if you ain't doing it, they don't, they don't play. Um, so yes. We can be compatible or not compatible. I guess we'll see. We four years in it, so we'll see um next question are you planning on having kids if so how many boy or girl so back to the kids thing i think i have touched on it briefly in my get ready with me video so if you haven't watched it go watch it yes go watch that but yes, eventually yes. Yes, I want kids. Right now, no. And boy or girl, I want a boy first. And then the second baby can be either or. I'm fine with it. I just always told myself I want a boy first. And so he can grow up and get a little older. And then if I have a girl behind it, he can take care of his little sister. So, yes. I wouldn't mind a boy and then a girl. But if I'm stuck with two boys or two girls, that's fine too. Um, but, yes. Eventually, I want kids right now. And that's all I'm going to say about that. And I'm not touching on it no more. So, y'all can stop asking me. Because it is what it is. I told y'all in the last video about this so y'all go watch so let's see would you ever get your body done if so what would you get <laughs> y'all came with some good questions and and nobody was out of line with it because i was like please don't ask me no crazy stuff but y'all really did come with some good questions yes i would get my body done i'm not against it as as y'all see um well y'all don't see because but i did tell y'all i was gonna be going on a um weight loss journey when we got back from the memphis trip in that vlog so check that out as well if you haven't done so but yes i plan on going on a weight loss journey after my weight loss journey yes i plan on having something done to my body 
and it will be specifically in the stomach region yes stomach and back i want that fat gone baby stomach and back i want that back gone baby i like that fat in the fat yes i want that fat to go i'm giving it the boots after i lose my weight and my thighs y'all my thighs i want all that though and it's not because I'm trying to look like Kim Kardashian or uh, Cardi B or, or I'll never look like them because that's not my body type. But I do want to get on a, a health journey due to my health and what I have health um, things that run in my family and I want to get healthy. So it's not to please any, anyone or to look like anyone. It's because I want to get healthy and I know I'm not healthy or as healthy as I should be at my age. So, yeah. So, and then after that, I do plan on getting something done. I want a tummy tuck and maybe a butt lift. We don't know. Fill in some butt cheeks or something. Whatever I need done, that's what I'm getting. And so, baby... I don't judge nobody on that because I plan on doing it one day. So we'll see. Or if I if I lose the weight that I want, if I get to the gold weight that I want and I'm happy with my body and I, I come to a conclusion that I don't need it, then I won't get it. But if I feel like I do need it when I finish my weight loss journey, I will get it. So stay tuned for that because I want to take y'all on my weight loss journey and if I do decide to get something done to my body I will take y'all with me on that journey too so we just we'll see we'll see and you guys I think I answered all these answered all of them you guys that is it so thank you for tuning in i wanted to keep this short and i wanted to drop y'all another video make sure you guys go watch the saints vlog we went to new orleans for the saints versus chargers um go check that out i did your girl did get copyrighted in that video so it is okay i'm glad you guys are enjoying it and we got more to come. So, yes, thank you, CC Babies. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you guys can know every time I upload. And show the love down below in the comment section. I love to read you guys' comments. And I love to respond to them. So, please comment down below. I want to know who's watching. And, yes, I will see you in the next video.